Hello and welcome back to Somo Diecast. And welcome back to another in my Random Restoration Monday series. Well, today we have a Hot Wheels. This is from, I believe, about 1970. And this is the King Cuda. And now I have the, used to have, all three of the club cars. I still have the Boss Hoss. And I also have the, uh, uh, the Camaro. And uh, I've been looking around and I found this little beauty right here that I believe was a club car that has been kid painted. So our objective today is we're gonna bring this back to its original status as a polished up chrome club car. So let's go ahead and blow it apart, see what we got to play with and see what we can do with it. Don't go away. Well, we got a little King Cuda all blown apart, rather heavily kid painted. And there were two posts. Oddly, on most of them, the engine holds is the front post, but on this one, it was a separate uh, post. But I already drilled them and tapped them for the 172 screws. Just enough space for that. And we got a little blown engine here, a little Hemi, looks like. Got a little kid paint on it as well. And we got our window unit. Got some decals on it, but we'll take those, get those removed carefully and clean it up, polish it up. I don't drop it and lose it. And our interior, two buckets, a decent steering wheel, and not much else in the way of details. And we got our base, metal base. Hot Wheels King Cuda, and I noticed <clears throat> one of the front cap style wheels is slightly broken. I may or may not have a replacement for that. We'll have to look around. But I do have new cap style wheels from Bright Vision, so we'll get all the paint off of this and get it cleaned up, looking good. Well, that is all of the pieces and parts. So let's go ahead and get that casting stripped. Start cleaning up all the other parts. Don't go away.
All right, before we get to the reveal, we're going to take a moment here to look back where we started. This is a King Cuda, Hot Wheels King Cuda from about 1970 that I believe started out as a one of the Chrome Club cars. And let's go ahead then and get to the reveal and see how close I got to the original. Don't go away. Well, here it is, our completed Hot Wheels King Cuda club car from about 1970. I uh, still had, I had all three of the club cars, the Chrome Boss Haas, the Chrome Heavy Chevy, and the Chrome King Cuda, but the Cuda went missing. I'm not sure where it got off to, but uh, I found this one all kid painted and a bit rough looking and decided I was going to reunite all three of them once again. So we had to strip some kid paint away, the windows and the body and the base and strip it all down, polish it up as best I could. There is a slight amount of bubbling under the chrome, but I don't do chrome plating. so. I had to uh, do the best I could with what I had, and once we had it all cleaned up and uh, polished, then we went ahead and uh, I made a set of uh, replacement racing stripe decals using Adobe Illustrator software, printed those on clear film, and polished up the engine, did the details in the uh, flat black in the grill and the engine compartment detailed the tail light, put a new set of Bright Vision cap style wheels on it, which are absolutely beautiful wheels, and it's an amazing thing that we have those to replace the ones that are long gone, but uh, I have all three of them again, and I'm very happy. <laughs> well, I hope you like this video. Uh, if you do, please give me a thumbs up, and if you are not currently a subscriber, I hope you will, and when you subscribe, be sure you ring the bell for future videos when they're available, and share with your friends. Well, I uh, after finishing this one, I, I have a feeling that I have two more of these to uh, restore, so that I have all three looking as pristine as possible. Well, as I said, thanks again for watching, and uh, I will see you in the next.